Okay. Seriously, I'm doing this bedroom confessional. It has nothing to do with dating because it's that screwed up. Like, <laughs> okay, I'm going to say this as fast as possible. Anybody that likes Larry Davis, Seinfeld, you're just going to see the humor in this. So I'm in New York City taking care of my daughter right now. And Valentine's Day, ordered food from like one of the most expensive Italian restaurants, okay? Which you can imagine is pretty expensive in New York City. So, you know, DoorDash, we get the alert, picture, whatever, it's here. Typically in her apartment, the doorman calls you and says, food delivery, we're setting up the elevator. So I get the picture that the food's delivered, right? Okay, so no call. So I call down, like literally two seconds later, and he's like, oh, it didn't have the right name, da, da, da. You know, it didn't have the apartment number, like DoorDash did mess up, but DoorDash guy could have looked up because the apartment number was there. So the guy's like, well, the apartment across from her has a friend named Nicole, because it was under my name, so we gave it to her. I'm like, okay. So I go across to the apartment. Are you ready for this? Finally, they answer the door and this young 20 something year old with big doughy ear eyes. I'm like, hi, did you get our food? And she's like, um, well, uh, we got food, but um, they didn't know who it was for. I'm like, okay, well, it's our food. Can I have it? This all happened within two minutes, two minutes. And she's like, oh, we started eating it already. And I'm like, why would you eat food that you didn't order? And she's like, well, because they didn't really know. I said, okay, like, I'm just like dumbfounded at this point. And she's like, well, it would have gone to waste. Like we all know you order off Uber, DoorDash, whatever it is, you get an alert, your food is fucking there. I mean, we know that. So then here's the kicker. I said, okay, well, can I have my food back? And she goes, well, we ate some of it. I go, okay, well, can I have my food back? I mean, it was all of two minutes. And she goes, well, you want it? I'm like, yes, please. So they eventually give me the food. And like, reluctantly, they had only opened out of five containers, one, and it like scarfed on the pasta. So, you know, at this point I bring it back. My daughter's like upset, whatever. And we go back. I just stand there to make sure like my daughter isn't losing her cool because I'm taking care of her. And they literally, the other roommate comes out who was like big old lips and dumb, dumber than dumber. And she's like arguing, like they apologize, but like what else were they to do? And they went on and on. And my daughter's like, hey, look, you know, I get your food all the time. I would never take it. I send it back down. You know, because I don't know you. I don't, I give it back to the doorman and he gets it back to you because our apartment's one letter off. And they're like, oh, when did that ever happen? Anyway, doesn't matter. The point is they were literally arguing about the fact that they had the right to eat the food. And I, and then they, the blonde dumb one with the duck lips started like elevating her voice. I said, eh, 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 don't talk to your elder like that. And I'm like, let me just ask you this. When you order food, because I'm sure you girls have ordered food on DoorDash or Uber or whatever it is, you get a confirmation or a picture like I did that the food has arrived. Um, I don't know. I'm like, you know that the person ordering the food gets a confirmation when there's a picture, we got it. What you should have done is left it down there and allow the person who ordered the food to figure out where their food was not to take it and eat it. And they actually kept arguing. So like, okay guys, if you were in a similar situation, what would you do? Would you have scarfed down that food within a minute of receiving it? It was like a $200 worth of food, by the way. We're not talking cheap. And A, not even offer to like pay for the food they ate or any like semblance of guilt about what they did, which cracks me up. She didn't want to give me back my food. That was messed up. So what would you do? This is a, a check-in on reality, on values and morals, whatever. Would you ever just take food that got delivered to you, not delivered to you, that the doorman wasn't sure who it was for and so you took it knowing that you didn't order it? Would you eat the food or let the person who ordered it figure out where their freaking food is? Like, what kind of world is it? We're, we're, we're in a shit storm with 20 year olds, I'm sorry.